Hi, my name is Bernard Guy, and I'm the ATV Marketing Director for Can-Am, and I'm here to talk to you about the engine of the new DS450. Basically, to engineer the most power, which was our fourth challenge set by our CEO, the engineers looked at having an engine that was breathing easily. The, uh, the Ger my German, my Austrian colleagues call that in German Durchsuchskraft, and I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it right, but that's a cool name <laughs> to say high flow optimization. Basically, what they did is to start with the largest bore, a 97 millimeter bore, the largest bore of any 450 out there. And the reason for that was to have the place to put two big 38 millimeter intake valve. I have the head here. And that's basically the head coming from the, v, the Rotax V990 that equips the new Canon Spider as well as the Aprilia uh, RSV Mealing in Europe. And uh, that, that those, those, uh, those bikes produce a lot of power and that's a, an optimized flow head that we've taken from that Rotax engine that we're building for these manufacturers. And uh, what you have here is the 38 millimeter intake valve and 31 millimeter exhaust valve. You'll notice that because of the large bore, we added a second spark plug to make sure that there's no detonation on, in all conditions. Because of the big surface, we wanted to make sure that the combustion was perfect with, with no detonation at all. But adding the head is not the only thing you need. And basically, that is connected to the largest uh, throttle body in the industry, a 46 millimeter throttle body that is then linked to an almost straight manifold, not to have any airflow restriction, to the biggest airbox also of the industry. All of that to make the engine breathe easily and produce a lot of power and low-end torque. So the overall result of, of this uh, iFlow optimization design is a lot of power. You basically have about 1500 RPM that you have more power than the most powerful 450 out there. And that's with a torque that is about in the same same league as everybody else, but there's this this extremely powerful top end for about 1500 RPM that you can use, uh, and that's going to be on, on a stock bike. And that's a, that's a stock engine. There's no mod made on it, and it's 9% more power than the best-in-class competitor.